Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. I hope you're having a wonderful week or weekend, whatever day you decide to watch this video. I'm in a very good mood because today is actually my birthday. It is my 29th birthday. I'm near 30, which is kind of crazy, but I'm also so excited to be 29. I don't know what it is. Some people were saying online, at least their 29th year is your best year. I don't know if that's actually accurate. I guess we'll see. I'll report back in a year's time. Let you know how it goes. Now, besides my birthday, I'm getting ready to go on a trip to London in about two weeks. Now, for context, I have a boyfriend that lives in London, so I'm going to go visit him, go do some shopping, do some leisurely stroll. Or I think they call it a gander. Gander, strolls, whatnot, I'll, I'll be doing those things. But it did get me thinking because I will be going in the early weeks of September and it is already giving fall weather and it is end of August right now. So I need to prepare my fall wardrobe a little bit more ahead than I expected to. So while I am thinking about what I should be bringing, what outfits I should be wearing, I mean, this is the, the start of fall fashion for me. It's a big deal. It got me thinking, what are my fall essentials that I wear year after year and the pieces that I have purchased over the past couple of years that I'm so happy that I bought because these are investments to me and I think I'm going to be wearing them year after year. Now, as much as I love a good trend, as much as I want to partake in some trends, not all, I do think it's very important to have a personal style and understand what your fall, winter, spring, summer essentials are. And these are some of mine, so I thought I would share those with you. Before we get into the essentials, I need to show you these flowers that my boyfriend got me because I have no one else to show and they are just so beautiful that they must be seen. I hope you can see just how beautiful these flowers are. <gasps> Is that one dying? Oh no. I'm not the best at taking care of flowers. I'm not gonna lie to you. Oh, that one is dead. Okay, anyways, we're gonna ignore that one. And I will insert the floor shop from Toronto somewhere on the screen because honestly, I don't remember off the top of my head. But they make the most beautiful flower arrangements Truly. Let's start off with something that I think you can carry around season to season. Really, it's not a fall essential. It's more of a yearly essential. Let's start with perfume. Now, I know a lot of people have their seasonal perfumes, fall, winter, spring, summer, of course. I'm not necessarily a person that only has perfume for certain seasons. I do love perfume. That is more of like a floral in the summer as opposed to the fall and winter months but I'm quite honestly not very picky and I will take whatever I can get. Whatever smells absolutely delicious, I'm here for and I'll wear it year round. But these are my perfumes that are definitely more fall, winter appropriate as the maybe perfume girlies would say. My current favorite perfume right now is the Bal Dafique by Byredo. Oh my lord, oh my lord. If I could only ever have one perfume in my life, it would be the Byredo Bal d'Afrique. It smells so clean, it smells rich. It has a little bit of a musky scent and I love a musky, woodsy scent, but it does not smell like burnt fire, firewood, you know, campaign vibes. It smells just utterly clean, delicious. And I actually do think it's a year round scent, but I can see why it's a little bit maybe more appropriate for fall winter, depending on who you ask. I'm only going to show you two perfumes, but this is the Valentino Born in Rome. One of my followers on TikTok, which if you don't follow me on TikTok, you should. She actually said that this is a men's cologne. And after upon more deep research, I think this actually is a men's cologne. And if anyone knows that this black bottle is actually the men's cologne, please let me know. But, emphasis on the but, this still smells absolutely divine. And I do think this could easily fall underneath the unisex scent category. This stuff is powerful, which maybe that makes sense why it's a cologne. It's all making sense now. But I do get the most compliments when I wear this. I wear this, again, all year round. I don't care what season it is, but I do think this is definitely more of a fall winter scent and, and again maybe it's because it's a clone and just stronger it all makes sense now just smelling them now makes me so happy beautiful beautiful scent to them oh i love them if you ever get a chance to smell these i would highly recommend the next category i want to talk about is sunglasses now sunglasses can be worn all year round it's a little ridiculous to say that they're solely for winter or fall i mean maybe if it was a ski goggle that kind of makes sense but these are not ski goggles okay these are gucci 
<laughs> but these are the sunglasses that I definitely gravitate towards in the fall winter months because of the frame. Now the frame is brown. I think a brown frame goes with so much, especially in the fall winter months. Not gonna lie to you guys, I wear these all year round. These are definitely my go-to lenses. These ones are from Vela. They still have them. They are called the, I believe they're called the Willow. Another new pair that I actually just picked up is this Gucci pair. This Gucci pair is definitely very similar, but not quite the same as the Vela. The Vela is definitely more round. I love the fact that this is rectangular on the side and a little bit more curved and round within the middle but i think an overall brown frame or even black frame depending on what your preference is for fall winter essential and again you do not need to wear these solely in the fall winter months these are definitely year-round pieces that you will have year after year i think and as much as i love an accessory i love clothing even more and i love blazers the most now i think we're going to see a lot more cinch in blazers and this one i got actually last year from source unknown they still sell it I believe it is called the cinched in blazer, given the fact that it is a cinched in blazer. I mean, isn't that groundbreaking? Now, I love this blazer. I've worn it already a ton. They also do sell this blazer in a charcoal color and now a rich mocha brown color, which if you saw my last video, you know that brown is going to be very in. Okay, the trendsetters are saying that brown is the new, the new gray of last year. Now, having a blazer like this, I think can go with so many outfits and it's definitely going to be a staple piece for years to come. Going on to the topic of knits, okay? I mean, it goes without saying that knits are essential for the fall and winter months. We would all be freezing without a good sweater knit. My absolute personal favorites and my go-tos every single year is a sleeveless turtleneck. There's something about a sleeveless turtleneck that is so sexy to me. I love it. I love the fact that it is high neck, but also there's nothing on the sleeves. I mean, obviously it's sleeveless. And the good thing about a sleeveless knit is that you can wear it year round. I don't know about all climates in the summertime, but I have definitely worn it in the summer months and I've been totally fine, depending on how thick that knit is going to be. And then for crew necks and any other turtleneck, I definitely have started to invest in my knits. I want these knits to last me years to come. I do not want to have to keep buying knits year after year. No, absolutely not. This one is a turtleneck. It's from the H&M Premium and it is a cashmere oversized turtleneck. Again, they do sell this, I think still, so I will link all those below. Love this cashmere knit, absolutely amazing. If you take care of your cashmere, cotton, whatever it is actually, you will have those pieces for years to come. My second favorite knit is this Banana Republic. This is a silk and cotton blend little crew neck. It also comes in a cream and a black. It's a perfect thickness for when you want to be warm, but not too warm. A turtleneck and a crew neck you can never go wrong with. And again, this is definitely going to be something that I have for years to come. And especially if I do get the cream and the black one, I'll have those for years to come as well. Now, the last knit I want to talk to you about is this affordable cardigan from H&M. This hands down without a single doubt in my mind is my most worn knit and it's also the most affordable this is my go-to knit with everything summer winter fall spring when i know that i'm going to go out and i know it's going to be chillier later on but i don't want to bring a jacket this is my go-to. When I want an extra layer in the winter months, this is my go-to. This actually goes with so much. Now I could be wrong, but I believe this is around $35 on H&M. And considering cost per wear, negative, negative, negative. You can never go wrong with a pair of trousers for all year round, but especially in the colder months. These are my favorite ones. This one is from Mango. It is a cream trouser with a very faint blue pinstripe. And then my two other favorite ones, this black pair and the pair I'm wearing right now with a navy pinstripe are both from Aritzia. These are the effortless pant and then these are the pleated pant, which I would both highly recommend. If you take care of them and wash them on a delicate cycle, I think you will have them for years to come, not just this season. Now the last bottom I wanna to talk to you about is a full skirt. This is definitely more of a summer piece, but I do firmly believe you can wear this in the fall. Maybe not the winter months, but definitely fall. This one is from Banana Republic. It is double lined, it is thick, it is beautiful. You cannot see anything even though it is a white skirt. I hate when you can see through a white skirt. This one you absolutely cannot. They, they do still sell this, so I will link it below, but it is definitely something that I'm going to be bring with me to London because I want to wear it. Even with this, I think it would be so, so cute or that source unknown blazer that be cinched at the waist. Another great way to style a full skirt in the fall months is with a chunky knit. I again, do plan on actually wearing this in London, a chunky knit, 
with the full skirt on the bottom. So cute, so chic, and a very easy look. You just throw on a knit, throw on a skirt, a pair of shoes, and you're good to go. The lighting may be a little bit weird because this is me later on in the day because the camera died, but I'm not done talking about the best, the most quintessential thing of fall fashion, the most important element, outerwear. If it were up to me, I would own absolutely every jacket in this entire world because you can never have enough fall coats. One very important fall coat that I think absolutely everyone should own that you will have year after year is a leather jacket. This is a brown leather jacket and I actually bought it last year off Poshmark and it is a, in my opinion, a very good dupe to the Saint Laurent leather jacket that came out last year, I believe. It is a beautiful denier vintage jacket. It comes with all these pockets. I love this jacket so much. It's a very heavy jacket. It is a commitment to wear this coat. Leather jackets can definitely be an investment and if you don't want to fork out the hefty amount for a real leather jacket, I would highly recommend you thrift. And honestly, you can get a lot of great pieces from Poshmark, from your local thrift store as well. A brown leather jacket is an absolute must. The second must and the second jacket that I think we will always find a use for is a faux leather jacket. I actually got this one off eBay last year and I actually think if you want to find a very good vintage faux leather coat to shop on eBay because you can find some diamond in the roughs or again go thrifting. I think a brown faux fur coat goes with so much and it's definitely going to be a warm piece that you can wear Maybe not season to season, but you can definitely wear in the fall and winter months. Now, if you are on the hunt for a leather jacket, I would highly recommend you type in vintage denier jackets. Also, the men's section is great. This is actually a men's jacket and a men's small. It's definitely very oversized, but that's what I wanted. I almost forgot the most important accessory of them all handbags. Now, I actually thought when I bought a white or cream based handbag that I would not wear it as much as I do. This bag is actually my most worn handbag that I think I've worn all year, which is a huge statement because it's cream. Now, this is a Louis Vuitton Madeline bag in the epi leather. I got it off eBay a couple months ago, I want to say at least, but it is a very spacious bag. And what I love the most about it is the straps are long. So when I'm wearing a very thick coat, the straps will definitely be long enough that I can still wear it with the coat. And I am bringing this on my trip to London and I plan on wearing it with all my fall looks. So I don't think you can ever go wrong with a white cream based bag. The past couple days in Toronto have been quite cold, but I don't know what it is. Maybe the fact that I'm talking so much, maybe the fact that you know I'm holding all these things, it's getting a little toasty in here. I feel like I need to turn on the AC. Or we're going to the fall. I mean, there's no AC in the fall, is there? Let's talk shoes. I have three core fall shoes that I've worn last year and I will absolutely be wearing this year. One of which being the infamous fall boot. Everybody needs a fall boot. I'm sure I'm not the first person to tell you that. This one is from Massimo Duty. It has the almond toe with a chunky heel. I got this more for casual settings where I still wanted to wear a heel. Massimo Duty does bring these out every single year. Also Zara makes a very similar pair as well. Second to the boot is a loafer. I think loafers are definitely going to be based on your preference, but I have since grown to love them. I used to hate them, but I do love them. I don't love the blisters that I get from these, but you know, honestly, I guess beauty is pain. These are from a brand called Sabago. I got them off Essence. They are just a plain Jane brown loafer. I love them. I can wear them to work. I've worn them in the day. I've worn them to brunch. I've worn them so many places. Comfort wise, I have definitely worn better, but I don't think anyone would say that loafers are comfortable. Now on a more comfier note, the Adidas Gazelle. This is the green with almost like a butter yellow tie. I love this pair. The Adidas Gazelles are definitely comfier, but not the comfiest sneaker you will ever wear. That is for sure. I do own two pairs of Gazelles. They do definitely fit a little bit different, but I I do think shoe comfortability is a little bit different for everybody. The gazelles and I think the sambas as well tend to relatively have a very flat sole. I do love the gazelles for a pop of color and also for when I just want to add just a little something to a potential boring outfit. Now if you are going to check out a pair of gazelles online, I would also highly recommend that you check out the men's section. In my opinion, gazelles are unisex, but on certain platforms and especially on Adidas, a lot of the good ones are found on the men's section. 
collection. These are actually men's. And I'm back, sitting in the exact same spot that I started and my camera is also about to die so I feel like I need to wrap this up. I hope this was helpful. I love talking about fall fashion. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like fall fashion is just superior over spring and summer. So I will talk about fall fashion any day of the week. I'm going to wrap this video up here. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have the utmost fabulous day.